Hello there and welcome to my first tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to code a dynamic web page using basic PHP coding. Now I'm going to be using Notepad to show you how to do this, but you could use any software such as Dreamweaver or Notepad Plus. Now to begin we need to start with our opening PHP PHP tags, which is as follows. Now we need to type in the following. And that is basically the beginning of our script, so if we save that. And then, so basically save it again. And then go on to the website. Which is this, go to vbify dot com slash tutorials slash example dot php basically at the moment it just shows a blank white page as you can see on the screen there now what we need to do now is begin the script so we're going to type in switch page and then have opening and closing brackets or the function will not work at all and it will just bring up errors on the server so first we want to do the home page, so we're going to type in case home page, then add brackets underneath that, and now type just to echo a statement out, we're going to put this is the home page. So we've got that at the moment. And then underneath that we need to put break to stop that page from showing up on any other pages that we make. So now if we save that and then go onto the website, just give me one. So there we go. Right, if we go to the web page and put question mark page equals home page, it will show us this is the home page which is the echoed statement in the file we just created as you can see there. Now glad that we got that working so we can put another page so for example we could put a case random page put the brackets again and put echo this is random and now we'll go to save it so if we save this now like that and then go to our what page again? So replace the page equals home page to page equals random page. Now that shows us the random one which we created. Now if we were to go back to just slash example.php like that, it will show us a blank page. So what we need now need to do is set a default text to show up onto that page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in default like that. Remembering to open and close our brackets we could put uh, include sorry not include we could just put echo this is the default page like so or oh, not pa page and then make sure we put break after that so it works so now if we go to our website slash example.php we can just refresh that and it will show the message which we just put in which is this is default page now you can add many different page names to it and it can make your website a lot faster you don't have to save it as example.php you could have it as dot index as index.php and then have it so the pages are on that or you could name it anything you like and then you could also change it so that it isn't uh, and page equals you could change this the bit that says page there and there to whatever word you like so you could have uh, you could put hello instead of that so the page would be example.php question mark equals no, question mark hello equals then put whatever is in the case there so for example you could have this hello equals get hello like so and then the page would be this example p 
PHP hello equals x x will just be the variable which will change here so in this case it'd be x equals home page or x equals random page or we could edit it to say a name for example we could put my name which is Robbie so it could be example.php question mark hello equals Robbie and then on that you could have maybe welcome Robbie something like that this script is very easily editable as I just demonstrated for you but we're just going to put it back to home page you could also um, rather than have an echoed out text you could include pages so for example you could do include homepage.html make sure you've got homepage.html file uploaded to where your website is and then within that you could have basic HTML coding there we could put h1 welcome to the home page like that and then in the t header book we could have title home page and now save that as homepage.html so Right, so now that I've saved it, we could check the website now and then put example.php page equals home page and it, it all works fine. So you could easily customize your web page URLs. So you could have index.php question mark equals page equals home page and that could include homepage.html and then for like a page such as contact. You could have that include contact.html, contact.php, whatever you want. And that's basically the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that you learned something from it. Please don't forget to rate our video, like our video, and subscribe to our channel.